How about disk herniation? What is a disk? What is the function of a disk? And how the disk herniates? A disk is an elastic soft cushion between the vertebrae of the spine. You can see how the disc herniates. It can herniate three ways. One way, posterolateral disc herniation. If you have L4, L5 disc herniation, you will get L5 nerve root. But if you have an L4, L5 far lateral or foraminal disc herniation, which can happen in about 10% of the cases, then you will get L4 nerve root. But if you have a central disc herniation, you will get coda equina. It is the tail of the horse. Don't mess with the horse's tail. It is a central disc herniation that will give you back pain, bladder and bowel symptoms, saddle anesthesia and numb perineum. You need to get an MRI and you need to do surgery within 48 hours because that will improve the bladder and the motor function recovery. So let's take the disc herniation, which will affect either L5 or S1 nerve roots. That will give you sciatica. What is sciatica? It is compression of the roots of the sciatic nerve as in disc herniation or compression of the sciatic nerve itself as in piriformis syndrome. That will give you pain in the lower back and buttock and sharp shooting pain in the leg down to the foot with numbness, tingling, burning, usually on one side. The pain is worse by sitting and better by standing. It is a self-diagnosed condition and usually improves with time. Usually, you diagnose it by the tension sign or by the straight leg raising sign, which you raise the leg between 30 to 70 degrees, will reproduce parathesia and leg pain, not back pain, because we're stretching the static nerve of the patient. When the patient has positive straight leg raising, it means the patient will get better with surgery. You will do at least six weeks of conservative treatment before surgery. And good outcome for surgery, if the patient has leg pain, positive straight leg raise sign, if the patient has neurological deficit, and the neurological findings correspond with the MRI findings. How about the dermatomes in sciatica? Here is an example of the dermatomes in sciatica. This is L4, this is L5, and this is S1 sensory distribution. When the nerve root is compressed, it gives pain and symptoms in a specific area. Plus, the examination of the doctor will also show the motor and the reflexes. We should know that a spontaneous resorption can occur in a sequestered disc.